life on the Put that knife in you Take a little bit of life from you Am I frightening you? Shall I continue? I put the gun to you I let it sing you a song I let it hum to you The other one sing along Now it's a duet And you wet When you check out the technique From the two texts And I don't need two lips You blow this like a trumpet You dumb shit This is an unusual musical I conduct it You looking at the Uh, as a kid, I was um, I was into the music. My brother was a, an exceptional athlete. Uh, he was and he's twelve years my senior. And uh, but as a kid, I was into the music. Um, a lot. You know what I mean? My mom and dad was uh, in the gospel and things like that. But my brother was into like funk. You know what I mean? Like following the funk and stuff like that. And, but he was also into like Boston and Night Rains and you know. And so just hearing all of that and then growing up watching MTV when MTV first, when he first started, um, it was kind of a like crazy mix, you know. And I just fell in love with music that way, just the way it made me feel, you know. Yeah. So and yeah. I started, yeah. A lot of your uh a lot of your samples are, you know, sixties, seventies, kind of soul type stuff. And Obviously, that was a lot of music that you heard right. in your household growing up. Right. Well, not no, not very much for my parents. Because a lot of, a lot of seventy soul. My parents, my mom and dad, like secular. You know what I mean? Because they went to the church. Right. And my brother played funk, but he played like. You know, I was born in '75, so I say around 1980. A kid can start remembering music around like that, three, four years old, right? Mm -hmm. So around '70, '79, '80, I started hearing the funk from my brother. But like all that mid seventies soul, like Joe Simon and Billy Paul and all that, I didn't get to hear that. You know what I mean? Right. So I had to pick up on that stuff later when I started to understand what hip hop was, was doing. Like in the late eighties, early nineties, when I figured out cats was really sampling music. You know what I mean? That's when I was like, you know, wow. And then that made me go back and kind of revisit some stuff. Yeah, I started in Central in 1993, okay. and uh, I went there for two years and transferred to NC State. And due to what NC State did, <laughs> because, because it was like it was like 24 hour visitation over there, man. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't like the black stools. Where you know you got five, twelve, nine, it's twenty-four hours. Right. You can have a girl like sleep in there with you all night. So that wasn't really good. So it's different at Central? Uh, yeah, yes. It's, it's, yeah. Central is it's five to twelve on Mondays and Fridays, from twelve to twelve on Saturdays and Sundays. That's what it was when we were there. Right. But at at NC State, man, it's it's free for all. It's twenty-four hours. <laughs> yeah. you know, we used to go over home for his room and see her heels, we like, oh, they go. Go girl, Mr. Middle You know what I mean? So it was like that in state, but I got over there, man, and kind of, you know, lost focus. And then I came back, um, and, I, and I also had a, a son born in 95, which was crazy. He's coming to the concert tonight in the 17th. So, um, but I came back to um, Central in 98. And and that's why I met Fonte. I was walking through the lobby and I had a Source magazine on the mall. I heard somebody say, hey man, let me see that. This guy. And I was just moving in too. So I gave it to him. And so I'm going to come back downstairs to get it when I finish moving in. So as I finished moving in, I came up to him. And he was, you know, he flipped to a, it was an advertisement for most Def, well, for rock and sound bombing, the first sound bombing. And I, I can't wait for this. And you know how it is when you meet people who are on the same musical wave like this you because you feel like you so you feel like you're such an outsider of what you like. I was like, wow, you know about most death? And so that's it. And so um, we met Pooh shortly after and started doing music, started doing music. Little brothers formed in 2004. Uh, All right, so a lot of your successes, obviously, um, everybody knows about them. Is, is there a point in, in this journey of yours that you doubted yourself or you had a failure? You said, I, I don't want to do this, I want to pack this up. Um, 
you know, I didn't have that mind frame when I wasn't in the game. Yeah. When I wasn't in the game, and I didn't understand how the game works. Um, and I just wanted to make beats for it, which I did, I still do. And I just had a love for the music. I was all going to look for it. Even for my clients, I'm starving, I'm sleep on people's couches, whatever. I was, you know, all for it. I thought that was just a part of it. But as long as that beat sounded good to me, that would get me through my day, you know what I mean? Once I got in it, I started to see, on even on my level, what Kanye's of the world goes to with the uses of the world. The constant people pulling at you, you know what I mean? Um, and I think the, um, the big thing about it is it separates artists like myself to another artist who's been in the game for a long time. You kind of got to have, you kind of kind of develop a level of not caring. Like, you kind of this tough Teflon, I don't care what nobody say, but I ain't like, no Kalinians ain't like that. We not raised like that. Something is not real. So we always want to look out. We always want to, you know, got to, you know, hell the saying, don't forget where you came from. That's a big part of the South. But we carry that around. You know, you're able to make it out of your city. You carry that around. And so you want to help everybody, but you can't. And you, everybody expects you to help them, but you can't. And the ones you can help, and ones you do help, that's not good enough. So, hearing all of that, it'll make you say, you know what? Y'all can have it. You know what I mean? If you wanna, I hear a lot of people say, I'm the king of NC, I'm the king of NC, I'm the king of NC, I, I will be out running NC, or NC, NC, whatever. But if you go by accolades or whatever, they will say, I'm the king. But I tell them, or Fonte's the king, or you know what I mean? Or Petey Popper's the king, right? The problem is, we like, you want to wear this crown? You can have it. Because that's not what I got into. Anymore. That's not what I got into the game for. I didn't get in the game to like, gonna make other people look bad or walk around, stun on people. People don't even see me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I do that for a reason because I love the music and the studio is my own. The club ain't my own. Every major party ain't my own. It's not my own. The studio is my own. So, just going through that whole thing, man, and just dealing with people and, and dealing with, you know, everybody wants you to help me. You can't. It'll make you say, you know, I There ever a point, you know, that you said, man, I made it right here. You know, like, mm -hmm. There is no finish line. Yeah. Ain't no finish line, man. Yeah. Um, you know, as a, as a beat maker, musician, you always search for that new high mm -hmm. in your music, right? So there ain't no finish line. Right. Um, I take commons for real for example. Mm -hmm. You know, the world at large, I mean, hip hop is in the world, right? If you're a purist, you follow him since Ken Bar Dollar, he knew who Common was. But he took on a whole new life when he got the game. And it's like he was reborn again. Right. And that didn't happen until like 13, 14 years into his career, right? For me, this is year 11. So, I'm not losing fans by the day, I'm gaining fans. It's, it's a new Night Wonder fan base every day. They'll run up on the beat, who did the beat, they run up on YouTube, next thing you know, they on YouTube all day. I get it all the time, people hit me on Twitter say, yo, come on. I just found out about you today. Yeah. And I'm like, we're up, you know what I mean? Welcome to the party, so it's this, and, and no, I don't think I made it. Yeah, and on, and on that note, man, I mean, I knew of you, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I grew up in Connecticut, moved out here right, right, right. You okay. know, um, a couple of years ago. Right. And uh, so from Jay and everything, you know, I, I kind of knew you were. So, you know, I saw the show was coming, I said, and I started you know, listening to music. And then I got the buckshot. I was like, why don't I know buckshot still? Right. Going, man. And, uh, and then I got MERS. You know, and then I heard rap, you know. And then it went for all the noise. And, and, and I'm like, there's a lot of meat, you know. And, <laughs> and, and, and even, uh, you know, on Buckshot's album, he said something about it's up to you to know, right. you know what's going on. And then you know, I said right. to my wife, I was like, yo, we're over here complaining about rap. Music but and it's out here. And it's out there. We're it's just out. not paying attention. That's you know? right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, really, the last you know, couple of months, I think I've had a flood of new music. And I'm right. like, you know. It's, it's, it's out there, man. It's out there. Yeah. So. 
So, um, what, what made you want to get into teaching? I went to, I went to North Carolina Central to be a teacher, mm -hmm. to be a history teacher. So everything runs full circle. Yeah. I have, uh, you know, people ask me, can I give me a beat, can I give me a beat, right? And you know, you can get a beat, but after the beat is over, that's it. It might make you pop. Then again, it might not, you know what I mean? There's so much work to do past that. Ask me to talk to a room of cats who want to get on for three hours. Yeah. Just to talk, mm -hmm. just to see what that mind is, to see how I can help, to see how I can say, yo, okay. You know, you know they've been saying goes, you know, do you want me to give you a fish sample or do you want me to teach you how to fish? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And I really teach cats how to fish. So therefore, once you learn how to fish, you ain't gotta worry about coming to me. Right. No more. You can help the next man, you know what I mean? And so that's what it is, this case. It's, it's, it's this mystery word about it. put me on. On the what? Because what you want to be on, I don't want to be on that. So I so therefore I don't know how to tell you to get there. Right. All I know how to tell you to do is make the good music, get it to as many fans as you can. The radio might not be your friend. Mm -hmm. TV might not be your friend. I, I, I've been on TV the last couple of years more than I have in my entire career, right? These outlets that you want to take might not be your billboard, might not be your friend. So if you can accept all of that, and you in it. You know what I mean? And then if things come along the way that will put you on a, in a forefront type of thing, accept those. But I don't, I don't go out looking for the big score, right? I don't go out trying to run sprint. I've been running the marathon and, and trying to get kids who want to be in this game that it's all about the marathon, it's kind of hard now to get you to understand. Obviously tonight you're doing the show right. with, uh, with Nas right. and uh, DMX. DMX. And Cosby, 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 Cosby. Cosby, he's from here. He's from right. graduated from Chapel Hill, uh, graduated from UNC. Uh, he's originally from Jacksonville. And um, his uh, label is called Soul Dozer. Okay. Um, and we did a record together called Spirit of 94. We had, he had Spirit of 94 with the album first. Um, and then I remixed it with Spirit of 94 remix. And uh, that's what I got. He you know, won the Rockets 50. He won the contest. He split it tied with somebody. And he was signed to SRC with uh, Steve Griffin. So he's open. So is it special for you to come back here to Durham? And play at Deepak, you know. Yeah, the fact I went, we went to school right down the street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. But in fact, I guess when you went to school here, this building wasn't Deepak right is here. not here. I think it's it, it's not even about me. It's about this is this is Deepak's first hip hop show. You're right. And this can make us or break us, mm -hmm. right? And I figure, what better. You know, and I was telling the guys that I think some of the DMX team is for a trap show. You know what I mean? And like, where is it get? I mean, you talk about a building that has Robert Williams, Tony Bennett, you know, Anita Baker. You know, it's not about the white artists, it's black artists too, but hip hop has been put in this box that we kind of start trouble and it's probably be a bunch of cops out here tonight. But the, but the thing of it is, is this they don't understand that hip hop is growing up now. It's too versus hip hop now. It's the young what the young people like and it's Nas. And Nas for us is our like cold train or our songs in the key of life or our um our Earth Wind and Fire record. It's hip hop drums, you know what I mean? So you're gonna see a bunch of people that come out here they gotta go work on time, right? And, and, and that's the thing about a lot of people our age is kind of abandoned hip hop because they put it all in one lump. No, right. You have a that show and then you have a Roots show. You have two different shows. Right. And it's not because Roots makes this type of music, it's the yeah. fact that all the Roots are in their 40s and they got kids. They trying to go home just like you. Right. And so I think with Nas too, you know, he got, he got, you know what I mean? He got, he got something to go home to. Right. You know what I mean? He got, he, got, he got a little one. So it's like, he trying to come do his show and go home. DMX too. I'm trying to come do my show. We, we've been through the wild night. We've been through the two thousand. Gas in eight forties, man. I say gas in thirty eight. That's trying to go home, man. and that's probably why the show is in this order. They get to the left, baby. Yes. And so it's gonna be just good. And I hope the D pack gets to see that. But it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a hip hop show. It's different.
Yeah. It's not what you see online. Trying to start a, a college prep program for her. I was in the college prep program when I was in Cunningham High School. Right. So I'm trying to start a college prep program for, 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 the, for, for the arts. Okay. For, you know, because we got to learn about math and science and all that, but you got some kids that are just very artistic. Right. And so, you kind of like a Xavier School for the Gift or something. Right. But like in the, in the, in the technical arts, like in the Serato, DJing on Serato and, and making beats on the computer, right. who knows how to take the world of science and the world of art and put them together. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to start. Travel. We travel the world. And um, as far as food, you, you got any city that really stands out to you? Boiled in the world. Yeah. Everything's organic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Everything is fresh. Everything comes in. Yes. Yeah. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. I, I love seafood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Memphis. Yeah. I mean, we got spots in these cities too that we go to. Um, Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Some good Man, they got a stack of everything. The beef is good. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Brazil is they got. Japan. Yeah. Japan. Um, with the Kobe beef. It's different. Wow. Um, the food, bro. I haven't been to Italy yet, and I'm waiting to go. Yeah. I know. I got to this. I know what it's like. First quote about life is, uh, happiness is not in getting, but in becoming. Um, can you share your journey in becoming? Like, have you enjoyed your journey so far? I mean, obviously you got probably a lot more you want to do. I've enjoyed it. It's definitely an unexpected journey. Um, never in a million years, I was Think that I've got it far. In order to deal with being this game, you got to be built a certain way. And probably the biggest reason why I still live in North Carolina is because that industry, although it's a few here that's doing it, that's doing it, and a lot that inspired to do it, that type of industry does not live. People will come here to perform, but people are also come here just to live. At the majority of the state of people just live. They want they to work, come home. Uh, so just to be here, to stay here, where it's coming from, where I come from, I'm going to be here. This is, I definitely enjoy it. It has a trial tribulation. You know, people think that I'm supposed to be there. You know, money, songs. Every problem that you have in life, but it does, you know what I mean? Money is temporary. Um, but am I happy with the people that I met? The people that I can say this my friend, I'm gonna keep rock yesterday. I'm gonna keep rock today straight up. And for a kid who didn't think that they would be, you know what I mean? Like you have feet on my wall, all of the kids, you know what I mean? Like you hear the stories, you meet your heroes and all that. But a lot of my dreams have come true. A lot of my Heroes and big mentors that I like have them in my phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, that's kind of that people. That some people they forgot about. Think they ain't hot no more or whatever. Yeah, it's you know, you know, just to have a conversation with Green. They see them, they lost so you out the buckshot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's oh, a dream. Oh, wow. I don't take that. Like, we've done three of them. Yeah. I don't take that. For yeah. 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 Hey man, I appreciate it. Oh, good luck. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, we have fun. <laughs>